Good morning to my YouTube viewers and welcome to our trading room. Good morning to all my traders in here. Um, very quick. If you like what I do, and I think they're, they're very small, very you know strong following that I have, but very small. There are a lot of people who would like to be exposed more to this method, whether they like it or not, whether they can use it or not. That's a whole different story. It's not for everyone. I don't think everybody... You know, some people think it's difficult. I don't think it's difficult. Again, I don't know Chinese, but I know Russian. So some people think Russian language is difficult. I think Chinese language is difficult. So it's it's your your taste. Here's the thing about it, because I got a lot, I got some some messages and YouTube that was deleted. Um, mostly what those traders were saying is that um, this thing is impossible to do. Like it's most guessing work and, you know, you're not going to, well, they didn't just write it as that. Normally those message with critical thing will go through, but of course with some insulting. And I assume those are people who don't really like me for whatever reasons. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm in that age where you like me, you don't like me. I don't give a damn, right? <laughs> Basically, I'm not, I'm not looking for that when I'm doing this, right? I'm looking to educate you. So. Here's the thing if you're a new trader and you're looking at this, and it might be difficult because trading is not easy. I want you to know it's not easy. Anytime you think that this thing is easy, you're, you're in the wrong business, right? For, for God's sake, if you're a cleaner, it's not easy. I got a cleaner here over the weekend to clean my place, and I'm looking like this place doesn't look clean well. She couldn't do the job properly, at least not to my taste, what I would like to see. Because I, I'm, of course, a little more, you know, picky on what I want. She thought she did a good job. I think no. So here's the thing about trading. This is the only method that actually explains movement, explains patterns, explains what the chart is going to do, thus forecasting. So if you're going to trade, you can either trade understanding this with some knowledge of the chart and how it moves and what it's doing, and that might give you an edge. Or you can trade without that. You can flip a coin and trade and still be successful. I mean, if you're a lucky person, who knows, right? I don't know. You can go and buy Bitcoin today and you're lucky and Bitcoin goes up, right? Or you wait for two years and then Bitcoin go up and you're like, hooray, I made money. Look, Bitcoin go up. I had to wait two years only. Or you can go and don't buy Bitcoin and, you know, it drops some more and you're like, oh, that's why I didn't buy it. But you can also do the same thing using knowledge that you have of the charts of how Bitcoin moves what patterns you see in it, how they behave, and do forecasting. And if the forecasting work, it helps you. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't go your way, well, hey, what's the big deal? So if you think rain is going to fall today and you walk with an umbrella and rain came, you're like, oh, good, thank God, I'm prepared for it. But if you walk with an umbrella and there's no rain, well, who cares, right? I mean, big deal, right? That's the whole point, right? So the forecasting method gives you an edge. It gives you an edge in understanding these patterns. And the patterns exist. It's not my imagination. It's not imagination of the people who look at these patterns because I teach you how to identify it. And I see my traders identifying it and taking advantage and making money. Right? So it's up to you, believe or not. Here's the thing. You don't want me to tell you that this works. You don't want my traders to tell you this works. You don't want them to tell you they're using it to make money. You have to make that decision. It's up to you to look at it and say, do I see the same thing? Is it working for me? Now, there are a lot of traders who follow me who are not in my group. I mean, a couple hundred very serious wave analysis traders who follow me for years now. They just can't afford, but they can. I They send me charts every now and then. And they pretty much got really good patterns. They can see it because they've been following what I'm doing for years. So they pick up something from it. And they're forecasting and working and they make money. So... It can't be all of us imagine the same thing. We can't have the same imagination. Something is wrong, right? If all of us are imagining the same thing at the same time, at the same place. And then you watch it behave the same way, right? That would be freaky. What is not freaky is if there's a known thing, all of us standing up at the stoplight and waiting for the green light, and then we all see green and we all cross. That's the normal thing because you know that's a standard. So these patterns do exist. They have standards. They have way. Sometimes they're very complex. Sometimes we look for a simple pattern and it becomes complex. Sometimes we're expecting this consolidation to be much smaller and then it becomes a much bigger consolidation. Even in this, those situations, you can identify that change in the pattern, right? So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, this looks like a small flag here. It will probably come and retest this low. And then if it does that, I'll be looking for a buy for this impulse to the upside. Now, once that impulse goes there, I would be thinking this is it and this is going to drop one. 
Now, does that make sense? You may say, well, why would it do all of that? Well, guess what? That's the whole chart we are doing, and that's exactly what it's been doing every time. Look, you can see by the lines I draw, and these lines are not after the fact. These lines are way before. Go back and look at my old webinar and tell me if you see these lines here. Tell me if this line is there. See that line there? That line also months it's there. Because once it comes to this top, it's going to drop. It doesn't necessarily need to break the top. I said that a million times. We we don't have a pattern on this time frame. If you're looking at the four hour, there is no pattern in this piece. Because there's one move, two move, three move. To have a pattern, you have to break something. Now, on the lower time frame, we have one, two, three. That's an internal pattern. Right? But this is just one piece of its own. So it to make a pattern, it has to break this top or break this low. So it has to come here or it has to keep going up there. And then we will decide, is that a simple pattern? And let me draw it again. Would that, if, let's say it breaks the top. Will that be a simple one, two, three? Or is it going to break the top, come back here, and then go back there? Now, here's the thing. Who cares? When it's at the top, if we get cell set up, we'll take it for this one or we will take it for this one. Because you're not going to take one trade and keep it. You're going to have about 50 trades coming down to the bottom there. Just like we are trading this piece up, but we're not taking a single trade and holding on to it because it's wave analysis. It will come back. And that is what you would understand about wave analysis. The difference between what we do and what everybody does. Somebody says, oh, I'm a trend trader. I bought it today and I'll keep it for six months. Well, good luck with that. I've I've proven and I've shown that many times where that that might work even if it's trending in your direction, but you might end up at zero. Right, because it's gonna do this, pull back, consolidate, do this, pull back, and so all this time you're paying the broker for the money you borrow. Right. So I mean it might do this and then it might drop here, and then you got tired and you close the trade here for 20 pips. And you know, that 20 pips is about 40 pips minus from your account because they already took out 40 pips in in, in uh, overnight rollover. Right? The interest rate you're paying for borrowing money if you don't know, and you're paying interest per day, not per month and per week, you're paying interest per day. When you borrow, and some of you borrow quite a lot because you have a small account, so you go 500 to 1 or, or, or 100 to 1. So if you understand this and it works for you and it gives you a gen, you don't really have to trade like that. We have traders who trade in the 5 minutes and make very good money. So what we do is we look at these patterns and say where we think and how we think it's going to behave. Right now, if you look at this, what we see is a consolidation here. And I'm trying to say when this consolidation is finished, it's going to make one more drop, at least one more drop. Now, we are trading inside the consolidation, not the drop. We're trading inside the consolidation. Go into 50 minutes. So the trades we are looking for inside. We took Euro this morning. We closed it. It didn't go. So what? We closed the trade. Right now, this looks like it can go back up. Right? I'm not trading this one. I just wanted to break the top. And once it breaks that top, it's going to come back like this here. Now we can trade this up. If we get a flag here, we can trade this up because the move to the upside is this one. And that's the equivalent of how much pips? That's 26 pips. Maybe we get a trade in it, maybe not. One second, guys, give me a second. My... Okay, to my YouTube viewers, I'm not feeling that well. I'm still doing this video for you guys. So if I cough accidentally, if I sneeze, whatever it is, just excuse me in advance. So this is what we're going to do. We're, we're right now in a 20-something pip range, and we're consolidating. Now, you don't even have to trade in that range if you don't have the skill level. You let this go. You let it come back. If it breaks the top, you let it come back, and then you see if you get it. It doesn't have to break the top. Then you see if you can get this move. Can you get 15 20% of that? If you can, good. If you can't, let that happen. It might even consolidate here and go again, consolidate here, go again. And then you look for this one. This is the next big move in it. When all of that is finished, you're going to get this one. And this move has about, yeah, that's about 66 pips. So you can get a 40 pip trade today if all of this consolidation finishes. That's it. It's that simple. So here is the thing I want all of you to do. If you're watching this and you can share it with anybody, whether they like it or not, whether they, they believe it. Follow this pattern. I'm going to draw it and I'm going to stick to very few charts so you can follow Expect this to do something like this. Expect it to come back here. In, in, in short, don't worry with what it does in here. Expect eventually the next move to break this top. And then this to start pulling back. Now, how high it goes is irrelevant. 
right? As long as it doesn't break this stop, or even if it breaks it up, that's irrelevant. You're, if, like I said, if we catch that, we catch it. We'll decide on that. What you want is the next move here. So when all this consolidation here is finished, no matter how high you go, you try to look and see what it does is and see if it comes back in. The higher we go into this one, sorry, the higher this consolidation, the more it consolidates and go into that, the more it will become a flat, which means you're going to get one more here and then we're going to go back up. Now, if all that consolidation stays only in this range, come back here and stay here and you know, kind of do this and stay here, then this would be a good sell setup because this sell setup is going to drop and it could drop pretty deep. So either you get this or you get this. Remember that too. Either way, we're looking for this trade. Either this sell or this sell. Now, those are the trades that you should be looking for if you're a new trader. If you're a seasoned trader, you can even trade the, tra the, the, the little pieces inside here. You have to have the skill level to understand how this pattern is behaving, what it's doing, and what you should do with it. Right? That's simple. So go and watch this. If you're this, if you don't believe in patterns, watch it play out. Watch see how it plays out. Right? As one trader says, it can change. And then I'm saying to you, well, well, if it changes, don't do anything. Don't trade it. It can change. The pattern could get more complex and you don't, you can't figure out what it is. We will figure out what it is. If it's becoming more complex, we can see that happen. We if we're in the trade, we're going to get out of the trade. If we're not in the trade, we'll just don't trade it. We'll wait until we can figure out what it's doing. And then take advantage. So you are trying to say, well, okay, I don't take this method. I don't like to understand what the chart is doing because it's difficult. So I'm going to trade out of ignorance, like, like blind. I'm going to take off the light. I don't like walking in dim lights because it's a little dark. You don't see where you're going. So let's just take off the bloody light. Let's have zero knowledge of what it's doing and let's go trade. And that is better somehow than understanding a little of what's going on. I don't see the, I don't see the logic in it then. If you think that's the best, well, then great, go ahead. Do your, you know, if you want to look for pin bars and think that is what works, well, then go ahead. But if you want to understand how it's behaved and study the behavioral patterns of chart, and that will give you an edge, great. Send me a Skype message, and we'll teach you how it works. How to join us? Send a message you'll learn. By the way, I promise you guys, the people who follow me, that we'll do a one-week free. Give me some time in this month to plan it. We'll do it. Right, things are a little out. like today. I'm I was planning to do next week, but today I'm not feeling so well, so I'm not sure if it's a virus and how this is going to develop in the week. So I can't plan for next week. But if it all goes well, we'll put it out for you guys. So dollar index, like I said, we're still on the higher time frame. We still don't know where it's going. We're still consolidating, but on the lower time frame, we're trading these little bits and pieces. So right now, I think we will get a sell setup as the bigger trade for the day. The immediate trade could be a buy, a short term, very short term buy. Silver, I don't know if you were there, but we figure out this flat and then this was upside. Now, whether you get a trade or not is the same thing. What you have to figure out this is making a flat here and this would be downside. How big this is going to be? Would it be a deep on back to the top? Would it be shallow? Would it drop back and break this low? All of that is irrelevant now because you're, you still don't have any idea what it's doing here now, right? So we broke out of this. That's what we know for sure. And this is going relatively sharp. So if we get a correction here and it starts to drop, it could come deeper and go back up or it could come all the way back to the bottom, go back up there, make a flat here, come back here and then go. Right now, it's still looking upside. It's not looking downside as yet. That deep pullback just changed everything. This could have dropped. When, when, I, when we had this here, let me go back to daily. When this started to come down, we assumed that that could have dropped. And that was normal because that's a big drop. But then the minute it goes back to the top there, you're thinking this one. See when this came here and you went back to the top? Look what happened. And that is what is important, right? You're looking at this now and thinking, well, somewhere in here, we're making another flat. So we will be trading in this range for a period of time. And if that happens, we're going to go back up. And I think we're going to be stuck in that range because I don't see them coming deeper. Right? It's gone back to the top. Now we will. It all will depends what pattern we have, depending on what it does here. I think we're looking for a sell setup here today. I right, we're looking for this to give us a sell setup because this piece here is definitely. As a matter of fact, some of our traders took trade in this on Friday on that piece, just on that piece, and they made money on gold and silver. But you'd have to do that in the five minutes. Now this is a one-hour flag. If you're trading these on lower time frame and you want to just come here and you can do both sides. Right, there was a sell here. There will be a sell setup here. I'll go with a sell setup here. 
Not necessarily that this will drop very far because this seems to be a flat and a possible running flat. Now, if this is to go higher and repeat itself more like this, this would be a better trading opportunity for us, right? This would be part of this down move and this would be, but if this is part of the consolidation, there'll be a running flat. Did mommy come back? Did mommy come back? Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, one of my traders not yet. It is okay. Yeah. So this would be part of, of a, a running flat here, right? If 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 it doesn't go higher. Now, this would be a sell setup from somewhere here. If you have the skill level, that would be a sell. If you don't have the skill level and you don't understand how the patterns could develop and change, wait for the consolidation to be big enough and then trade it on the breakout. So gold. I would wait for a pullback because we have this sharp move here. So I would wait for this to pull back somewhat like this, and then we will look for a sell setup. This is the consolidation here. This was a sell setup. I think it can go more, but then you want to see this happen to get that out of the way and then look for the sell. So first, it might even be a buy setup, and then you'll go for a sell. Depends on what time frame you trade again. Now, here's the thing. What I'm showing you is the direction that I think it's going to go. Those are not trade setups. For you to get a trade setup, you have to know the rules. You have to know where you're going to enter. You have to have your own strategy of how you're going to trade it. And all of that you get when you join us in our live sessions. All right? Plug that one in very nice, right? When you join the live sessions, you get all of that. We discuss all of that. But for this session, for the YouTube videos, I can't discuss it. There's nothing here now. There's nothing for me to show you in under five minutes. It's not a buy. It's not a sell setup. There's nothing there. Now, because we can get both buy and sell setups, I would wait. And what I'm waiting for is for this to either go up and make a flag. You see, you have a flag. You see, this, this is a buy setup. So it either goes up, make a flag, and then we start buying it, and not for a big move, just for this move. Or it consolidates here, and I get it. It consolidates like this, and I get a sell setup. So which is it? Well, wait until you get this, or wait until you get that, and then you get a trade. Right now, we don't have anything. Euro? Go back to the 15. So this is the trade we just took. You can see the trade set up here and we closed it. If you didn't close it while it was there, like I told the traders, close it now. The reason we are closing it, although it's still going up, is because if this pulls back so deep into this, the chances are it will break the top. Like I said, it will probably go break the top, but then it will come back again. I don't think we're going to take off right now. The trade we were looking for was this trade, this sharp move to the upside. You notice this doesn't have any big cluster like you have here. And this is the second one because this is the first one. That was the one we were trading. So it's probably going to retest the top. The worst case is you took break even. Some traders took minus two pips or so from it. That's I took plus three pips from it or two pips or something, plus two pips from it. So basically, it's it's a break even trade. How you look at it. If you if you are still in the trade, it will probably tag it, take it off. It's not, it's not going anywhere. Not as yet. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Is it going to go up and break the top? Yeah, it could go. But if it's going like this, I'll rather wait until it gets to the top and then sell it for this move down. This is trying to make a flat here. That's my assumption for now, depending on how deep it goes to the top. Right? Is that if it goes very slow, I don't want to trade it. If it was going fast, we'd be in the trade already. So can it make a spike now? Well, if you think it can make a spike now, what you can do is take this out and put the entry above the top. Go to pips. Now, what if it doesn't make the spike? What if it comes and tag you here again like this one? And then start to do well. You repeat the same process because then you will see that it's probably trying to go up like this. Or you wait, you live through all of this, put it to break even, and then wait to take profit once it gets to that top. Because from there, it will come back here. You'll get a flat and go. Can it drop from here to the downside? Well, I expect them to at least break this top first. I expect them to at least break this top first. So it's trying to go to break that top, and then it's a sell. Once that top is broken, we will look for a sell setup. Short term, because the bigger picture is upside. See, that's what trading is. For the way we trade short term, you, ha you have to wait for the setups, take the trade. So which side would I tell you? Would I tell you about this trade going to this top or this trade coming here or about this trade going there? Which one you want? But those are three different trades and we trade all three of those. And this is if it's a simple pattern because if it's not a simple pattern, then this one will still drop here and then instead it make another consolidation and drop and make another consolidation and drop. Well, guess what? Each one of these we will trade if we see this starts to happen. And we have done that. That's the easiest part to trade. If it starts to make those patterns, those are easy. Right? Those are giveaways. 
Eventually, if it does that, it's going to make one more impulse up, and that impulse will be the equivalent of this. So will it come to the bottom here and then go, or is it going to stay at the top here and go? So that is what trading is. Uh, waiting for these patterns to be there at different times, a different you know thing, and then make a decision. So I can tell you I think it's going up, but then for the rest of this week, it comes down. For this entire week, it will probably just do this, do this, do this, do this, and then, yeah, it goes up next week. Or it goes up today. So big picture or medium term upside. What, how long this consolidation going to take? Well, let's see. Okay. Bang. Good. This one was here. I was like, this one is going to come break the low. Guess why we didn't sell it? Well, because it went back all the way to the top. We were trying to sell it when it was here. If this should come and break, we'll take the trade because then it's going to go back up like that. We can take this trade in the Asian session quietly, but then when it took the top and guess what happens there? Take this off. You're not selling it. You're actually looking for a buy. See, that just changed from a sell to a buy setup. We want to buy this, but you don't have to buy it here. You can try to buy it in here once it breaks this low. So you want it to come here and break this low. And if we get a buy setup, we'll take it. Because what you have now is this. You have one, two, three. Let's see how deep this one comes. Let's see how deep it comes here. And then if we get something like this with a flag here, this would be a buy. If not, you can buy it above the top and see how far it goes. Right? I think they're trying to make a bigger flat here where this would, might be the impulse because that is a consolidation there. So we're looking for a buy setup. Put it, here's the thing. How far do you think this is going to go? Well, worst case is going to break the top and then come back. Or it could just keep going. And this here was all the consolidation. So it's a buy setup. Big picture where do we think this is going? Let's go back to the four hours. You remember we broke out of this thing here? But the trade we are looking for is this one, right? Who says this doesn't go back all the way to the top there, then come back here and do this and then go. You ever seen something like that? Well, here is one. One, two, three. You don't have to guess for something like that. I can show you like a million of them right now. You can see them all over the place, right? Here is a classical one. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then go. One, two, three. Would the two be like this or would the two be like this one? Or will the two be like this smaller one here? Or this one? Take one, two, three. Which one? Make your choice. All these are patterns that we know. Right? I didn't just sit down and put them. So what we're looking for is this is one. And we're in the two. Let's see if we get a three. Right? So if it's a simple pattern, it will probably do this. We, we're looking for a buy. And then it could come back here. Can it actually come here and go back down? Possible, but I don't think that's what they're doing because this is a very, very sharp impulse here. So we're trying to consolidate here, maybe the upside. We'll see that again. Let's wait. Aussie. Aussie will be downside. Again, here is another one, right? I think if you were following us anywhere, we kind of saw this pattern and we're like, you know what? This is a huge pattern in there. This means it will come back, we test this top and then go. And we did that. As a matter of fact, I thought this one would drop. Because that would have been enough for running flat. And then we thought, okay, this one would drop. We were selling this because we thought that would drop. But then it didn't drop. And we we're like, okay, what is it? Still making consolidations. And this consolidation here seems like it's going to go up one more. See? This looks like it's going to come up one more. But then would we break the top? If we break the top, we start looking for sales. What if it doesn't break the top? What if it just comes here and then come back down? We will still take sales, but that sales is going to mean something else. So if this goes and break the top and come, we can take the cells and it could be the one that drop. Right? Any cell setup you get. But what if it only comes, I don't know, comes short of breaking the top? It comes like this and then come back like this. Well, we will still sell this, but we know that there's a possibility we're making a flat there for one more, at least one more option. So go back to where we are in the 15 minutes. Was it trade? So right now you don't really have any trade. You can do like this, right? And we really don't have any trade. I don't know what it's going to do right now. And this might not be the best buy setup here because this is not like an exact flat here. This looks like it barely tagged the top. So if this is coming out of the range, this is your range. See? Are we trying to repeat this here? One, two, three. That's a possibility is that you make one. They come here and they make two. Go back there for three. You get this. And then you drop one more and then you go. See, all of these are possibilities. So do we take the trade? Of course we take the trade. Maybe not this one, wait for another flag. If it makes another flag that is big like this, or if it makes a flag like this, we're buying. 
So where would this go eventually? Upside. You notice the arrows are coming from the top here. Right? This one is going up, and this one is coming from after you break this top. Because if we break that top, we're coming down back. New Zealand? Okay, this is kind of a buy setup above the top because there's a small flat here. And this could probably do that, right? At least one more impulse up. Cat, okay, so we didn't sell this as yet. Remember I said it might not go very far because this one kind of went up. So this could be a buy setup. Put an intro to here. Let's see how far this goes. Cat is correcting. Right. We're in this one. If I don't know if this was last week in the weekly outlook when we were getting one, two, and I said this is probably go back for three and then drop. Well, that happens, and you can see the sell setup. We actually missed the sell because it dropped during the news and we didn't get tagged immediately. And then it pulled back and it starts to drop. So that trade we missed, but this one you could have gotten. This one was easy. Actually, we took profit from that one, I think. So right now there's a buy setup here because this looks more like a flat for upside. So here's a question. Can it actually drop back to the bottom? And in that case, here's what I want. I want this to come here and make a flag. I'll sell that. Because if it is a one, two, three running flat, it has to go up now, not make flags here. If you get a flag there, you're selling. So right now you have a buy setup. Put an entry order in and we'll see. Where do I think that is going to go? Well, first you want to see if they'll come and break this top. Because if this is to go and break that top, now you will get one, two, three. You'll get one, two, three. We'll come back down. And then we'll be stuck here for a very, very long time going up and down. Because once we complete this small picture, you have to go complete the bigger ones. So let's see. Right now, it's a buy setup. Okay, this is kind of still consolidating here. We broke this consolidation. And this is supposed to drop, but they didn't drop. You see, we got this. We get a drop and we're getting a buy set up there, which is not a good idea. See? You're getting a buy set up here because this is not necessarily going to break the top. It might just come here and do this and then come back. But it's a buy setup if you want to take it. If you think you can, if you think you can, you know, manage your way out and break even, it's a good buy setup. Yen is coming down a little, but I think it's going to be more of a flat. I right, this one and this it's probably here and then upside. Let's go. You're in New Zealand. Well, these uh, this one should go a little higher, and then we're looking for a sell. This one is actually a really nice pattern terms of selling it. So once it comes to about here, we're looking for a sell setup. So you see, I got this little arrow, but guess where the bigger picture is? There's a daily um, structure there. See? That this is going to come down, and it's coming down right now. It's a good sell setup, actually. Don't miss it. It could make if, if I don't know if it's gonna be news or what, but get a really I will try to get it from the top there, guys. How much is the range? I think we have a range of that's a good range, almost a hundred pips. So let's see if we can get that from the very top. I'm on the four hour. So try to get it from the very top. This might be a sell, and if it doesn't go higher, you you might want to consider it. Keep a bigger stop because it could come here and go back and test that top. You don't want that to happen. So keep a stop a little bigger, but we'll try to get it from the top downwards. This is not a perfect one because we haven't broken this top as yet. But if it dropped from here as a contracting flat, we'll still take it. It could be. So we'll put an entry to here, assuming that it will still go higher. So uh, leave that here. So if we put the entry order under this one, it's not a contracting flat. It could tag you. But if it tags you to go back up, it will probably tag you like this and you know, kind of stay here for a while. But this would be a flag for upside. Close the trade. Like we did on the Euro just now. So this is a buy setup, actually. It's a very a sell setup. Sorry, it's a very nice sell setup. Eurocad. Upside, but there's no trade setup here as yet because you, you've got to wait some more. Right? It looks very similar to this one here, and it can go up 
There's a small flag here, but it's not, it's not a good buy setup. This one was a better buy setup this year. This you can make an argument. Yeah, you have you have a flat there, so you could go with the buy. And let's see if it breaks up with an inch above the top. A couple of pips above the top, and let's see if it breaks out. If it breaks out, it's coming all the way to the top. If it just tag you to go pull back, close the trade. So here's the difference. Uh, with our traders know the rules of you know how you're gonna close the trade. We did we do it every time in trading room, and we close one this morning. If you're not sure about it, how to do it, don't take the trade because we're not making a trade call. I'm just showing you what we would do. So if you want all of these, including all of these, including all of this, send me a Skype message and join our, our live session daily. We will, for the YouTube, we'll have to keep the video a little short because then it's an hour and a half. So let's go. I'm going to show you some of these natural gas. Okay, so this one was a buy. I think when it was the news, we were trading that to the upside. And this actually didn't go anywhere. I don't even know how many trade in it as yet. This is moving, so if it makes another flag, we can buy. Okay, this is moving up, so if it makes any flag anywhere, you can buy that one. At least one in bills. US oil? Okay, I was expecting this to be more of a flat and go up. It kind of came down. This was the buy from here to go up, right? So I think we had a buy above this top, the running flat possibility when it came here. So the idea is when it comes here, you put an entry there and see if this takes off. Well, it dropped a little and it's going back up. What's the bigger picture of this? Okay, let's assume that it's dropping. Let's assume that this was part of the impulse. And that's just a deep pullback. So wait to see whether it consolidates here. And then go for the sell. Either it consolidates it, that's a good sell setup. Or if it makes a flat like this one, one, two, three, see running flat and then go. Or this smaller flat here. US 30. Buy setup, wait for a pullback. Well, now you're close to where you'll have to, you know, be careful because this could go one more only and then start coming down. So if you take the buy and it doesn't go far, start looking for the sell setup. With this pattern, one more should come down. It might break the top first. S&P 500. Pretty much the same thing. We're in this. And we're going back up here with a flat like this. So this here could probably start dropping. Or just make a flat and go back up one more. All right, let's see. Do we have a flat forming there? It looks more like a flat forming right now. Yep, this could be a sell setup, but it's mostly for just this. And then upside. So if you get a full flat upside, but this sell here might not be a bad idea. Right? If you can handle the risk, the sell might not be a bad idea. If you're going to sell it, put an entry in there. They all came back pretty high, but it can still be sell set up. Let's see where we can get a trade from. We can get a trade from a higher spot. Get a trade from here. So by the time it break the low, you get it to break even. Okay, guys. Again, if you want all of these, join us live. I'm going to do about three or four crypto, so you have an idea what we're doing. Yeah, this would probably be a sell set up. Put an entry order here for the sell. Because that is going to drop. And there's a good chance that if it drops from there, it drops through this bottom. And then we start looking for buy setups, right? When it comes back to this bottom. Right? When this drop here and break below. Then look for buy setups. Right now it's a sell. Let's go. Ethereum.
This one actually went up, but not all the way. I, I really wanted to see it come all the way to the top here. Right now, we have a structure like this I showed you, and I said, remember, we're taking the sell here. That's the Euro New Zealand. Where it didn't break the top there is that you have an expanding flat in the middle. I think I can go back and show you that. So keep a track of this one, and I'm going to go to the Euro New Zealand. I think that's the one I said, don't miss. See? Not the Euro, yeah, this, this piece here, the smaller version here, this one. With the expanding flat in the middle, right? If you go to the 15, this smaller version. With the expanding flat in the middle, here, and we are here where we didn't break the top. So this cell makes sense now, right? Could be the trade you're looking for. So go back to that. Which one we Ethereum, right? Let's do a few more. XRP. Downside, and it's about to break. When we, you remember when this broke, we said it's going to come tag the top and come back. Well, it's coming, and this might come break this low. So when it break that low, you're going to have one, two, three. We we'll either get this move up again, or we come and we break this low, and then you definitely start looking for buy setups. When it breaks the first low, you're looking for the setups and you're taking the trade. But the second one is almost a must, because once it breaks this low, it's going to go back up again. I don't think we'll break this low. It can, but I don't think we're trying to break it. So let's see. Still early. Okay, let's do ADA. Attack in the DAX. Okay, we'll take a chat. We'll take a look at it. Don't, don't buy that because the, 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 this one came back to the bottom. So let it go up there and then look for the sell. Look for the drop. Let it come here and then look for a drop because it's more downside. Okay, guys, pretty much all of them are the same thing. So again, if you're interested in all of these and if you're interested in more, these are what we call extras, which means every one of this here is traded by our traders, but it's not regular, like individual traders trade them. I think there was one here we looked at on uh, Friday that I said I really liked. I think was we actually moved it up. It was on here, somewhere here, copper. Yeah. Copper we moved up because I really like this cell set up from here. Let's go back to the four hour and show you. So we actually had a really sharp move down. After this one, we made one, two, three, and you're at the top here. So there's a very good chance you either get another consolidation down or you actually get this down. So the sell at the top is not a bad idea. It's actually a very good idea. Keep your eyes here for the sell setup. Put an entry order here. As long as it doesn't go back to the top, it's a valid sell. Right? You don't want this to climb any higher. You want it to climb not higher than this. How about here? If it goes higher than that, take it off. It's not a valid flat anymore, a flag. And then the reason you want to be careful of that too, because it might just drop like this and go back up still. This would be your break-even trade. Like this one, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then go back up. So use that opportunity for exit. Okay, DAX. Let's take a look at DAX. DAX sell, by the way, yeah, very nice one. Thanks, Ivan, for reminding. DAX sell, if you, yeah, you, you took it a little earlier. That's good. You actually took it from this one. So like I said, it's your skill level. If you, took it, if you take it from this one here, it's not bad. That's actually good. You can take it from here. The trade to the downside is huge. It might take a while. You can take it as a long-term trade. On the one hour, it's a very small flag, and then we're expecting that to drop quite a lot. At least but one more impulse here and then go back. or totally downside because we broke the stop. Right? Every time you break the top, there's a chance they can start dropping. So if you are not in the trade of this, you still have an opportunity to get this. And I hope you watch this video before it breaks. Put it under the low. And let's see how far it goes. But remember, it's all-time high, I think, right now. 
right? Like really at the top. So the cells are always good. So okay, again, once again, my YouTube viewers, thank you very much. If you would like more, it's pretty easy. Send me a Skype message. You can get our live sessions or you can wait and watch all the videos once a week or you can get two sessions a day live plus a recording of one session. So the first recording we do, you get it. It's out there for you to watch all day. And then you have access to two live sessions. That is if you join the Installer program. If you join us as a full-time member, you get to see everything, right? So thank you very much. I hope you guys make money this week. Stay safe, trade, trade carefully. Thank you. Bye.